Welcome to the show. You know what has an actual story, in theory? DC Comics. Yeah? Yeah, not really. It's just a Sega way. Segway. So you... A Sega way! See what I did there? You're so DC. funny. Alright, so... A little bit of DC news. I'm just going to give you a quick update. What's been happening. Yesterday... I'll start at the beginning, right? Yesterday, we got an announcement. They make a new Joker movie. Movie about mm. the Joker. Mm. This is a... It's going to be an origin story mm. about mm. the Jokerino. Um, written by a guy called Scott Silver. Who's that? He's some bloke. He wrote Eight Mile. <laughs> little good movie. Rabbit. Okay. Uh, and what? a movie called The Fighter. That one. Oh, Oscar sorry. I, I was thinking Green Mile. Eight Mile. Was <laughs> yeah. I was gonna sorry. Say, why do you like Eight Mile? Uh, so eight much? Mile was. Sh- eight I mean, Mile was yeah. not exactly a triumph of story. Definitely though. a movie though. It is a movie. It is a good one. And directed by none other than Todd Phillips. Who, who's that? Who's that? The Hangover. One, two, three. What? Party. Some other movies. And he's Which making movie a this? Joker movie. It's the, Joker. the Joker origin story. Oh, I thought you said Martin Scorsese. Produced by Martin ah. Scorsese. Why do these guys what? keep? Ah. That, that's the, like, what? You just what? get to a point where you what? don't have to what? do anything anymore. You just get producer credits. So let me give you a little quote that's coming around this. It's a gritty, grounded, hard-boiled crime film set in early '80s Gotham City. That isn't meant to feel like any DC movie. Where Joker wow. is a struggling rapper. So, the big <laughs> the big takeaway from all this, right, hmm. is that it's not part of the DC EU, the DC weird. Comics Extended Universe. Why would you do that? It's like you're competing with yourself. What is the DC EU? DC EU is Superman, DC Man of Steel. Um. Wonder Woman, mm. Batman vs Superman, Justice League, them, all together, they make the DCEU. Just right. like the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, mm. is all of So them. this is a Joker movie that's isolated from all other Somewhere movies. else. All it's, other DC It's movies. not Jared Leto. Yeah. So it's like a different continuation. Just like in the comics, they'll still do a whole other run over here. New story. Nothing do you reckon to they'll be able to what's get... What's going on in the mainstream storyline at the moment. Do you reckon they'll be able to get Jack Nicholson back? I don't know. Probably not. Mm. <laughs> I don't think they will. <laughs> but, um, origin story. Does anyone care about the origin of the Joker? Uh, Isn't I that don't the best know. part of him? That he's just... Doesn't have an origin? Probably. Isn't that part of his character? Yeah, his whole origin is kind of... To be in an, an, an uh, yeah, just chaos, enigma. right? He's just a, yeah. he's a symbol of chaos. He's meant to be the opposite of Batman. You don't want to know. Why do people care about origins that much? I don't know. It's weird, yeah. right? Can't you just show who someone is through what they're currently doing? Just give us a straight up story. I don't like it when I get invested in actors being certain characters, and then they make movies with different actors being the same characters. It seems rather pointless. I just Who's don't doing like this, it. and why are they doing it? Well, it's interesting because then... Money. If we go back and talk to um, Matt Reeves, who's making the upcoming The Batman movie, Mm -hmm. there's been... So there's been all this speculation, right, about Ben Affleck. Is he going to be Batman still? Is he? Uh, Is he? Is he? And then he said, no, I don't want to. Then he said, yes, I am going to be. But then Casey Affleck said, nah, he's not going to be Batman anymore. And it's all going all over. Who are you? Why did Casey say that? You're just a brother. Like. That's his brother. Yeah, I know, but someone you'd asked You'd think him. his brother wouldn't be the one announcing something so huge. Anyway, so Matt Reeves, who's making The Batman, he said this. He's got a vision for a way he wants to do something with the character that at least feels like it resonates with me personally and a mm. perspective that can grow outward into other things but is really all about so whatever. But when they approached me... What they said was, look, it's a standalone. It isn't part of the extended universe. That makes no sense. This makes no sense. So it's all, but it's all starting to come together. So that's why there's so much confusion. Controversy. Confusion. Say, like this happened with Spider-Man, but it wasn't by choice. They're like doing that by choice now. Why would you want to split your characters? Well. I am 
I am of, of Chris? a different I'm of, <laughs> yes. I'm of a different opinion. Chris. I think that this is good. Right. This is terrible. Okay, Google. What do you think about a new Joker movie? Should that happen? Sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> she doesn't, don't she doesn't want it either. She that's what that's what I, I just don't understand. Yeah. You don't understand? Why do you think why do you think it's a good idea? Alright, so Marvel, right? They did it. They dominated it. They changed the game. Now everyone wants an extended universe. Mm. Um, DC's been pushing and chugging along, trying to catch up, trying to do the same thing, but they suck. They do suck. Right? Yes. So they could either keep doing that or they can try and do their own thing. So what Star Wars is doing, they have their films going, but then they have these other sort of standalone films. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think DC's doing the same thing, just on a greater level. I don't understand what you could... Okay, so they no. have to get... So you're saying if they don't get Ben, ben Affleck, it's just going to be some other guy. It, not, and you'll have a Batman in the Justice League movies not, sort of concurrently. Not because they can't get Ben Affleck, but because they want to tell a different story. But regardless of whether... It's the same it's, story that's been yeah. told many times. Regardless of whether but, it's Ben Affleck or not, is that movie part of the DCEU? Which one? No, the Batman, the Batman movie. one is a standalone. No, that's okay, well, so we don't know officially, but that's what Matt Reeves has been said. Well, okay, but I get what you mean. Because if it's, doesn't yeah. necessarily mean it's not in the extended universe. Correct. It just means that the story won't link. Correct. Right. If it's not part of the DCEU, it would actually make less sense to have Ben Affleck. You would want a different actor. Exactly. Yeah. But why keep making movies with the same characters that you're trying to create an extended universe of? with different actors it's it's off-putting well maybe they're not anymore maybe they've thought mm, it's not working let's do something different the only thing i would like if they did it is if they do future batman like a future story where he's old i think that's the thing that they're going for if they right. start like if, a completely different time period i'm sick of seeing his origin story exactly there's no point in doing something that's concurrent with like how old he is in this one yeah. he was kind of old but, like, if you went future, full-on future, like in Batman... What is it called? Batman Beyond. Yeah, that one. Batman Beyond. Yeah. Did that kind of thing, I'd be okay with it. Because I, I think... would kind of bring in a sci-fi element that would make it interesting again. And I reckon that's what they're going for. Okay. So, instead of having... Being bound to this continuity and being bound mm. to these actors, these characters, this... The story's been done. ...central storyline... Batman's been done Let's... so many times. And DC so has ways. these ama- this amazing retinue of stories, of mm. like Batman Beyond it, and all the Green Lantern cores, and... Yeah. and But there's just awesome stuff that they could do, but... Got Joseph Gordon-Levitt back as the uh, Nightwing oh, or something. The, yes. the whole Bat family. There's so many stories, so many... <laughs> the Bat family. ...popular stories of Nightwing, the Red Hood, Jason Todd... All of them, mm. it would be just a nightmare to actually try and tie in. So, but with this, they can just tell just an awesome it, story yeah. without all the pressure of having to tie into everything else. Mm. And so, maybe they could get if that's uh, what they're doing, I'm a okay filmmaker to come and make a film and not have to worry about mm. tying into the DCEU mm. and having the producers all over them, the execs like <sighs> they can just. Is that what they do? They do their. <sighs> Down, breathing down your neck <laughs> and then they can just make a film and it doesn't have to tie in it can be it's, good or it could be bad it so could be Joker, similar it could be different the Joker origin story is not linked to this Batman story either is that right? correct so it'll be a different Joker and maybe the Joker won't be in the Batman one anyway correct okay alright so chances are it'll be better than everything else and then they'll try to start a new universe out of it because Scorsese is amazing a prob- well he's producing does that you hope, be good? you hope not you hope they go okay we did something awesome let's leave that do something else awesome here's what I think will actually happen is he will do it awesome but it won't be the Joker it'll be Scorsese's Joker and it won't be very because I don't think you can do an interesting movie out of a guy who's just a maniac like there needs to be that's why the Joker works so awesome and he's the popular character is because he's not the main character he's the yeah. one who drags everything down he's the one who explodes everything he's, he's the, the one contrast who, yeah and if you just have that it's just going to be either super depressing or he's going to have to change the character to have some sort of arc or downfall mm. which that sounds boring to me I don't want to get I don't want to see Joker. the origin of the Joker like, yeah I don't want to empathise with the embodiment of chaos yeah Maybe he wasn't always the embodiment. That's of chaos. not the point, though. <laughs> I don't want to know That's about it. That's not his function. Well, 
you'll probably still go and watch it anyway when it comes 100%. Mm. Those bastards. And you know what else? What? As if you there wasn't enough Joker news. They're going to make a Joker movie inside the DCEU. What a joke. What? This so, one makes more sense, though. So this it's, is a movie that I want to see. It's like a crime it, romance yeah. with the Joker and Harley Quinn, Jared Leto and Margot Robbie. Yeah. Because one of the, is, it, is it based off the... What's the famous comic of that called? I don't know. The Joker. The Killing Joke? No, come back to me. No, okay. so it's directed by Can these guys, people? Glenn Ficarra and John Recure, who they, made what Crazy made? Stupid Love. Great movie. I actually like that. I love that movie. I don't mind that one. It's one of my favorites. Crazy Stupid Love is so funny. It's so good. When he's got the Velcro wallet. (laughs) He's like, shh. Be better than the gap. (laughs) And they also made a movie called Focus. Starring Will Smith and Margot oh, Robbie. Margot didn't see Robbie. that. Yeah, didn't watch it either. Is Margot Robbie the main draw for you, Ye Chan? Isn't it the main draw for ninety percent of people watching these movies? Draw. <laughs> so that's a yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's answering my question with a question. But what a prick. I think <laughs> that it's just too much Joker. I'm not even into the Joker that much. I don't need any Joker movies. Yeah, I don't. That's too many Jokers. I want I this care. movie. And nothing else. Yeah, but you like Suicide Squad. I'm sold on your standalone. I did not like Batman. Suicide Squad. <laughs> don't want an origin for jo- the Joker. Don't want to. I don't just want don't Joker want movie. three different people playing the same character in my head. I'm I'm fine with that because I have a brain. Blood. <laughs> No, no, I'm a brain. six-year-old. <laughs> I have a brain. I'm fine if it has sure? a, diff- a completely different tone. If they go future and sci-fi, it's fine. Yeah, but I mean, like. Something else. Even within DC, DC, there's so many more characters that they could keep making. It's just that they keep trying to rehash the same thing. Like, yes, we all know the Joker was awesome. His character's cool. His The way he behaves is interesting to watch. But that doesn't mean we need four Joker movies in the last five years. Like, there's so many. Like, even with Marvel, I think the reason that they're so um, successful is because they're bringing out characters that people otherwise have never heard of. But like, they, who's you, but you can't do that straight away. You've got to build up to it. So if you build up to it with some spin-offs of Joker, spin-off of Batman, a bit weirder Joker, a bit weirder Batman, and then maybe we can bring in some weird characters from the shadows. No, yeah, which I, is I what they did so. with Guardian of the Galaxy. Because there's no way if they'd just done Guardians of the Galaxy it would have had as much of a... Impact. Yeah, but before Guardians, there was Iron Man 1, 2, and 3. Exactly, so exactly. it got people yeah. excited about But imagine MCU. watching three different Iron Man movies with three different actors with three different worlds. That's that's not what Marvel did. But that's not what we've got. You've got Batman vs Superman. You've got, you'll have Justice League. You'll already have... And then we've got Bat a Fox. Batman movie, which is a different world. We've got a Joker movie that's a different world. Like, it's too spread out. Just concentrate on the extended universe make more characters that fit into that world. Like, you, you can make... I'm sure they are already making The Flash and Aquaman and all, all those characters. And The Flash is Flashpoint, so that's just going to mess up everything. Flashpoint? What's is Flashpoint? the one where he messes up the timelines? That's the one where he goes back and then... To save his mom? Bruce Wayne died and it's Thomas it's Wayne. It's a big part of The Flash's story, isn't it? The fact that he can <laughs> travel time. <laughs> You just described the Batman parts of it. Nothing about the Flash. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> all actually... anyone cares about is Batman. That's to be fair. That's probably the best part of it. It is bloody heart wrenching when you realise it's his dad, and then he sends a message to his son. And it's like, oh, freak. What's his? Sorry, dad? that was for a very niche group of people. Super, super spoiler. <laughs> yeah. Um, I completely disagree with you, Jen. I think this is the way for DC to go. They can't just keep trying to copy Marvel. Yeah, they can't catch up. Make make DC great again. It was never great. What? what? When was what it great? The, the Dark Knight. That DC's, got, okay, the, Dark, Dark DC's Knight was got the great. best. I actually, I literally watched um best ip. ip. The, the second Batman from the Burton verse. Batman Returns. It's so good. I watched it the other day. Like yeah, it, it's actually, yeah. stupid, but it's so good. It's a banger. Like it's over the top and ridiculous, but I love it. How good would it be if they pulled off all the emotion stuff in the Green Lantern storylines? But like, did it with an actual I good know. script. Green Lantern is my favorite. And showed the mm. emotion and how it affects the characters, and actually <sighs> had good actors. It would be amazing. Is the problem that these guys get? They're just forced to make such big budget movies to compete. Like these superhero movies rely on the spectacle, the CGI, all of that. Yeah. They're so massive that they can't take a risk on it. Yeah. So yeah, that's the problem because they're putting in 
like 500 million bucks mm. they can't say okay you weird director do something weird no yeah. we need to make our money back can't be a difficult storyline to understand because yeah, you be wouldn't want to make money on a low budget movie like Deadpool would you Hey! Oh, yeah, hey. No, that was awesome. But think of every <laughs> other. <one. laughs> think of every other movie that gets made in the superhero genre. They're always big budget. But Deadpool isn't. Deadpool was its own little thing. That's what they're doing now. Yeah. So. So hopefully it's good. I, I think low budget is always better for comic book movies. Yeah. Like Unbreakable is one of the best comic book movies ever made. Yeah, that was great. And that, like, he doesn't even do anything in that. I don't think. Mm, like he yeah. fights like one dude. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking about this the other day. The best Game of Thrones seasons was when they had no budget and didn't yeah. even have battles. I am. I've been arguing with everyone about that, Jono. Really? Is that we didn't have multi-billion-dollar budgets every episode, and the old seasons were better. When the battle would start, they'd skip to the end yeah. of the battle because they didn't have any money to put the battle picking, into. Maybe it. picking up bodies at the end of it, and you'd find out what happened through the dialogue. The first four scenes, four seasons of that is all talking mm. and boobs. Yeah, and who doesn't really love talking just... to boobs? Apparently you. You would love the first seasons of that. It's too many dicks. It's like yeah, it's like the bu- <laughs> it's, like, it's like the budget went up, I but like the nudity the... went down. <laughs> yeah. Which you think would the be the opposite. Game where Hodor just comes out naked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like boobs. He's so white. I'm, I'm not a big fan of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so big. Unless it's a good, unless it's a good one.